All right, this is going to be a very brief video covering basically the last topic related to our work in Powtoon, and that is simply about slide transitions. This topic is easy peasy because there's actually very little to it. There's not much um, that you can do in terms of customizing or settings. Um, so in terms of adding transitions, removing transitions, and so on, uh, it's it's really quite a simple process. So <clears throat> in a in Powtoon, anytime you have gotten to a point where you have more than one slide, uh, Powtoon automatically inserts an additional a, a, an additional element in between the slides, and that is the transition. Um, transitions are selected from a menu. There are no settings related to any of the transitions. They either are there or they are not, and that's about it. Um, so, for example, to get from my first slide to my second slide over here, I would click on the transition menu. It's got a th uh, three basic transitions. Then there's a bunch that they call executive, which has to do with uh, things moving in particular ways. There are a bunch of stylized ones. Um, you can see this one here involves a hand coming out and pulling down a window shade. Um, each one of them, when you hover over them, it will give you an idea, a little preview of what that transition looks like. And then at the bottom are a series that are about camera moves. So it's a, it would be the same thing as taking an actual camera and either panning it or swiping it or zooming it um, sorts of options. So those are your options and adding the transition is as easy as choosing one, clicking on it, and that transition now will show uh, that it's black. It's got, it fills in one of the screens showing that that is now an active transition. If you just hover over it, it shows you what the transition title is. And when we go to um, play the slideshow, we will get when it moves from the first to the second slide, somewhere about in here, there's our transition, and then we're into the next slide. Um, so it automatically puts it in, but you have there's no choices in terms of the length of the transition um, or any other additional settings. If you want to remove a transition that's there, simply click back on the transition and there will now be an additional option right at the top that says remove transition and that will take it right back to um, what's actually called a jump cut where you just go straight from one into the other without any transition between the two slides. So to use transitions or not is really up to you. Um, this will also be something that comes up in next week's class when we finally get to talking about the four C's, uh, but all I would caution you against is make sure when you use transitions that you use them deliberately and thoughtfully. Um, one of the common errors that people make is they have an option of using one of 20 different transitions. And so over the course of a presentation, they use all 20 transitions. And from a design standpoint, that is actually not a very good approach. At most, you should be picking one or two transitions that are related to each other, um, and then when you use them, making sure that they don't uh, interrupt the flow of, of what you're trying to present. Um, if you use tons of transitions, then the transitions start becoming content in themselves because people start wanting to figure out what the next transition is going to look like. Transitions should really just serve to move you from one to the next in a way that um, supports whatever your material is. So absolutely feel free to make use of the transitions. Just make sure you're using them thoughtfully and for a reason. And um, that is basically all there is to say about transitions in Powtoons. All right, so with that said, we have now covered pretty much all of the content, how to move the content and make the content interact with the slide. We've now added sound in various ways and now have the ability to also add the transitions between slides. So that should be pretty much all the tools that you need to create just about any sort of a Powtoon. There are some other odds and ends that we will cover here and there, but that should pretty much give you what you need to know in order to create your Powtoons. So that is all there is for this video. I have provided also a link to Powtoon's help page related to transitions, um, and feel free to check those out as well. 
And that is pretty much all for this. So I am going to sign out.